So how do you get the sound from your electric keyboard or piano to your computer? Well, I'm gonna show you three ways going from easiest to hardest. Let's talk about the easy way, which is using a microphone. Next, I'll talk about using a line out from your piano, which is gonna be a much better um, result. As, and then lastly, we'll talk about MIDI. So first, let's talk about those microphones. So you can use a microphone just like you would record any normal instrument. The difference is that instead of recording, you know, where the sound comes from in a, a normal piano, which would be the soundboard, so you would put microphones above the piano, for a digital instrument, you've got to find the speakers, and then you try and mic the speakers. And how loud do you put this microphone? Well, if you have a, any kind of meter that shows you how loud it is, you want to make it so that the levels of the sound wave are not flat. You want to see all the variation. You don't want to see it completely flat. Or if you have a dB meter, that's better because then you could say no red at all. You want to stay around negative six dB or under. So if you're using a microphone or a professional microphone, um, this is a you know uh, an XLR microphone, and so if you're at this point, then you know you, there's better ways that you can do this. But if you have a microphone, this is not a bet terrible option. You can plug it into your audio interface, and which plugs up into your computer, and you can place it uh, on a microphone stand near the the speakers of your piano. This isn't going to yield the best results, but it's an option. If you are just trying to get sound you know, from your piano, just trying to jot down ideas, then your phone is actually not a bad option at all. There may be default apps on your phone that you know record the audio, but if not, there's one for Android I call, that's called Audio Recorder, and it's great because it's free, um, and you can specify the quality. You wanna go the highest quality possible because really the sound on your phone can be terrible, but if you, do that, it actually helps quite a bit, so I'll demonstrate that. Let me play that back for you. If you're just trying to get down ideas, it's really not a bad option, and it's one of the simplest ways you can do it. So that's really the easy way, and you might be dissatisfied with that because when you use a microphone, you're capturing the sound of the room and digital instruments have the advantage of being sampled instruments, so you don't have to get the sound of the room. So what is a sampled instrument? Well, a sample is just a sound file, and when you play an electric keyboard or piano, every note that you play is a different sound file, or sometimes they, for um, less cheap, you know, for less expensive sound sets, like they'll use one note and then they'll like tweak the sound level uh, tweak the pitch of the sample to to you know imitate that note but on on higher quality keyboards every note is a different sample and even different loudnesses of notes are also different files so w those are really high cl clarity definition files and we want to get that sound onto our computer so how do we do that well there's um the most straightforward way is to use line out from the piano line out if you let's take a look here this is the outputs of this particular piano and it has a lot of different options. You can see it has MIDI, you can see that it has line out and it also has a headphone jack. It has a quarter inch headphone jack, which is not something you see in normal life very often. And then it has the eighth inch hedge, hedgehog, eighth inch headphone jack that you're probably more familiar with. Turns out you can use the headphone jack or the line out to get the sound from your piano to your computer. Every piano is different and not all of them are gonna have all the outputs that this particular piano has. But in this case, um, I'm going to use the line out because that's what it's made for. But if your piano doesn't have line out, it is most likely gonna have a headphone jack and you can use a headphone jack with a eighth inch cable. And if I can remember where I put it, use this to connect straight through from your piano to your computer. If you have a line in port. Now let's talk about line in ports. This is a necessity to be able to connect straight from your piano to your computer. A lot of desktop Windows computers have this line in port and a lot of laptops don't and Macs don't have these ports. And so um, there's, don't worry, there's some alternatives and I'll get to those, but I'm gonna show you how to connect from the piano to the computer. So once you have the piano hooked into the line in or the headphone jack, then you can go to your computer, make sure and plug in the line in cable to the blue port on your desktop computer. Um, some laptops, not very many, have a line in. Um, and if you don't, then you have to use an adapter as I've mentioned 
But once that's all hooked up, you can then go into Audacity or whatever recording program you like to use, and you can select it here in the input selector. And once you're ready to record, you just hit play, and then you are able to play the, get the notes to record. So what do you do if there is no line in cable? Well, fortunately, you do have a couple options. There is this Behringer stereo interface cable, which I'll show you in a second. It has two quarter inch jacks that you can plug into the outputs of your piano. And if your piano doesn't have a quarter inch output, you can use an adapter from quarter inch to eighth inch that will allow you to plug into a headphone jack. Then you can see as the, on the other end, it hooks directly into a USB. So rather than using a line in cable like a normal headphone, um, headphone cable, you would use your USB and in this drop down, it would show up as that adapter and you could plug it directly into your device. So that is one of the easier ways. Um, here is an example of an adapter that you could use to, if your piano didn't have a quarter inch, it has on one end it is an, a quarter inch and the other end is an eighth inch. Failing that, another um, way to do this, if you don't want to use an adapter, you can use an audio interface instead. And this device is much more um, robust. This um, port is actually a two-in-one. You can plug in that XLR microphone input into it as well as the quarter inch um, quarter inch cable that we were looking at over here. An audio interface is a great idea if you're getting serious about any kind of recording because it is the way you can get several different instruments and devices to hook into your computer. You can hook up a regular microphone uh, with an XLR input. You can hook up a guitar. You can hook up your piano like we're showing you right now. And also, these devices support MIDI input so that you can hook up, you know, a multitude of different electronic devices and send the signals back and forth. So um, if you are interested in getting into recording, um, it's time to start looking into an audio interface. Audio interfaces make things a little bit com more complicated because you now need, you know, you need a, a quarter inch cable to connect from the piano to the audio interface. And then you need, you know, the audio interface itself, and you might need to install special drivers onto your computer to make sure that works. Then you need to hook the audio interface into your computer. Usually they come with a USB cable for that purpose. So step one, hook up your audio interface using a US, its USB cable to the computer. And if it requires an external power adapter, plug that in as well, and then power on your audio interface. Sometimes they don't require external power. Next, plug your device, your electric keyboard is what we're talking about, into your piano and in, then into your audio interface. And you want to make take note of the number of the interface that you are plugged into. This particular interface has a lot of different inputs. Um, many of the less expensive ones are going to have only two. So, you know, you're, you're gonna have less to remember. Take note of this dial. It has, um, this is how you control the volume of what's coming from the piano. And you can also control the volume on the piano itself, of course, with its own volume. But just make sure that when you play that there's no, absolutely no red. You actually want it to, um, you know, a little bit of yellow is fine, but not solid yellow and it's mostly, mostly green. But you don't want it to be too quiet either or else you will get signal noise. All right, once you've hooked up your audio interface, make sure you have, if you have your driver set up properly, then you can use Audacity or another DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, to record the sound. All right, let's talk about MIDI. Now, I showed you the MIDI on the piano earlier, and that is, it's going to be, to understand what MIDI is, I talked about how an electronic instrument is playing a bunch of samples. Well, MIDI is not the same thing. It's not samples. It's not sound files of a recording of a real instrument. Instead, a MIDI device are just signals that the electronic instrument sends that corresponds to the note value, how long you are holding out the note, and its velocity, and also all the other aspects of it, and capture from the electronic device, and then on the computer, you, you have to match it up to your own samples if you want to actually make sound. It sounds complicated, and it is kind of, um, so we'll go through it step by step. Now, there's two ways to connect MIDI from your, from your piano to your computer. If you are lucky, 
you will have a USB port as you can see here. This USB port is not gonna send the sampled sound, it's just going to send the MIDI signals to your computer. This makes it a lot easier. You don't have to get special equipment to connect your MIDI or you don't have to have MIDI cables. It'll just connect directly to your computer and you can use your piano as the MIDI host. If, you, if your piano doesn't have a USB output but it does have MIDI output and MIDI output looks like this, these like five prongs on the on the piano, it'll look more like that. There we go. You're going to need a MIDI interface, and there are they range in quality and, and expense and and capability. But this particular, I have one here that's a very simple one. It allows you to plug one device in, and also you can do MIDI out. And MIDI out is important if you're trying to control multiple devices. In this case, we're just trying to get sound from the piano, so it's not a big deal. So we can just use. Um, the MIDI in and connect the other side to the piano. This device also has a USB port. I'm gonna plug this into the computer if I wanted to use this device to use MIDI. If you already have an audio interface, a lot of audio interfaces have MIDI controls as well. Not all, so, but if you're lucky, it already has it. So if you don't, if you run into a device that doesn't have um, outputs that will work for you and you have to use MIDI, um, then you can use an audio interface. Um, once you have it hooked up and the appropriate drivers installed, um, then you can use a DAW or digital audio workstation to record. So I'm going to get into Cakewalk, which is um, a very fully functional but free piece of software. And then I'm going to start an empty project. And this isn't my stomping grounds. I don't use this particular DAW, so I don't know where everything is. But um, I figured out enough to be able to do what we're doing. So, sorry, um, backing up, if you right click here and do insert instrument, and then you click on the drop down to electric piano, then you can create and very lovely. Then make sure that their audio input is going to capture the, the electric piano. So if I go to edit and then preferences, there's a lot of stuff here. So I'm gonna to go to devices and here I have the USB MIDI, and I happen to know just from testing earlier that this is referring to my electric piano. So it's got the checkbox, meaning that it's, in, it's enabled. So let's, I'm gonna to go to my piano and pluck a couple notes and see if it works. Awesome. I am effectively able to play the piano and the signals are going to the computer and I just wanna, further distinguish uh, the MIDI from sound, because that is not how my piano sounds, that is just how this instrument and this program sounds. So if I insert another instrument, which is the drum kit, I can use my keyboard to make the sounds on the drum set. That would be difficult for me to do with the mouse. I'm doing that with the electric piano, it's controlling the sound on the computer. And you can use these record buttons to record all of that output. And you have to make sure that it's enabled for um, recording not just sound, but also MIDI. Um, there's all sorts of settings. But that is the basics of how you can get the, the sound from your piano using either a MIDI instrument or by use, you know, recording the sound directly. That was a lot, right? But it was so fun. If you are interested in music and recording and instruments, make sure and subscribe to this channel. This is totally the place for you. Thanks for watching.